What's up, you guys? Welcome here to Fightful.com. I am Jeremy Lambert, and there you see her. She will be in action. WWE Survivor Series challenging Rhea Ripley for the Women's World Championship. She is Zoe Stark. Zoe, how are you doing today? I'm great, and I'm super excited for Saturday. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well. Looking forward to this match. You know, earlier this year, you uh, there was a report you got great reviews from from WWE for for the work you have done and you know your resiliency coming back from the injury, working with Trish mm-hmm. and everything. And since then, saw you in Saudi Arabia. You were in the title match, big title match this weekend. How does it feel to get a little bit of validation from the company being in being in this position? Uh, it feels great because you, growing up, always wanting to become a WWE superstar, you never really would think that we get to that point where you're getting recognition from the officials of WWE. So it's absolutely amazing to be able to get that. It's heartwarming. You know, it tells you you're doing something right. Is there any type of mentality change? This is your first, I believe singles match uh, in on the pay-per-view. You know, you've done it. You've done a lot of uh, premium live event matches, but this is the first Mm -hmm. singles one. Any type of mindset change being in a singles match? Uh, no, man. It, like for me, every match, I'm just fully focused, no matter if it's singles match or fatal five way. So it's just now it's Rhea and I, and I think we're just, we're going to be hitting each other very hard, you know, we're going to be killing each other. So it'll be a fun, exciting match. You were in a hard hitting fair at Crown Jewel. And one of the, the spots that kind of went viral at Crown Jewel, you jumped over the top rope to the outside, yeah. took out the cameraman. On this. <laughs> when, when you saw that, what did you think? uh i just started laughing because uh so the guy who fell his name's uh Stu. uh he's amazing at what he does and he was telling me that he just got kind of wrapped up into the cords and kind of fell so i thought it, i mean it's a great shot no matter what happened i'm glad he got it because i've always thought those kind of camera angles are amazing when you see somebody dive yeah it came it came off great because he's just on the ground and he's still shooting it yeah. like he did they didn't yeah. switch off of him or anything wait is this the say this is the infamous stew that john cena gives the shout the out john to? cena stew yep oh the my infamous gosh. stew did cena say anything I'm like what are you doing taking out my guy no no, no, no. <laughs> he did not <laughs> no but Stu had a lot to say when he uh <laughs> when i saw him after <laughs> did you notice in the moment that he had he had fallen no i had no idea I didn't know until I got to the back and people were saying that I knocked over poor Stu. And I was like, I, I was nowhere near the guy. How was I like, what? <laughs> so I, I didn't know until after. Oh, uh, it would, it would like, it turned out to be a great, great moment on there. That was the one moment. That, went, that was one moment that went viral recently. Another one that happened earlier was your, your hardcore match against Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus mm, yep. throws the chair <laughs> and it hits you <laughs> and you just give her a look of, what, what are we doing you, here, Trish? <laughs> you can't even plan that. Like, if we were to plan that, she would have missed. Yeah. Right? Like, it's one of those weird things that she just was putting all the chairs in and everything. And then as I turn around, a damn chair comes flying at my head. And I'm just more baffled of what just happened. I was like, how did I even get to this position where Trish Stratus is throwing chairs into the ring and nails me one, with one perfectly? <laughs> Did you say anything to her? She said anything to you afterwards? Uh, no, no. We uh, just moved on from it. It's just what I uh, I did hear the people in the back were like, kind of like, you know, you hit Zoe in the head with a chair, right? And she was like, no, like she was so focused on what she was doing that she didn't realize. <laughs> which is hilarious. So. I, that that was a great that was a funny moment from that match, but that was a great match oh, overall. Yeah. Like, how are you feeling after that match? Because I know that was one where the crowd was into it. I, I think it got good good reviews from backstage, certainly good reviews online. Like, how did you feel after the match against Becky? Uh, I felt great. That that was my first main event match, and to be able to do it with Becky Lynch in a uh uh Falls Count Anywhere match and we bring weapons into it, it's amazing. I uh, never in my life thought I would have that opportunity. So to be able to have that is great i have to ask you your your cat's name who is uh trying to, to get in on this yeah i know he's a uh, he's being very loving right now and then he just ditched so uh, his name's sly sylvester oh oh very yeah. nice very nice i've yeah. done two interviews today this is the second cat run-in so you know it yep, is yep. It, it happens <laughs> he's been in all of my interviews so far just he's like he hangs around me 24 7 and then uh 
before we started, he just wanted all the attention in the world. So <laughs> he just wanted to sit on my lap. Uh, you you finished up things with Trish. You turned on her. I guess you, she had it coming at payback. It was rightful. Um, yeah, it was yeah. rightfully so. Yes, it was rightfully so. But during that time where you were paired with Trish, like what was the biggest piece of advice she gave you? Uh, finding your why for what you're doing in storylines. Why are you doing what you're doing? And why are you reacting a certain way? And why are you even wrestling right now? You know? So uh, finding your why is one of the biggest things. And uh, if we take storyline out of it, I actually still get in, I'm still in contact with Trish to where I sit there and ask her questions and she'll she's very f- quick to answer back and help me out. And uh, there's plenty of times when uh, it will be a phone call where we sit down and we just talk about what's going on as far as what what should I change and what should I do? So she she's still incredibly helpful. Uh, a why that I have for you is why are you doing so many ladder matches? You have been in, I believe, <laughs> three or four ladder matches and yeah. you always seem to find yourself in there. Do you know why you're in so many ladder matches? I do not. I'm going to have to ask Hunter that. I think he has something with me in ladder matches for some reason. I don't know why. That one is just uh, the powers that be. <laughs> the, are you having fun in the ladder matches? Like, what do you, what do you go oh, into? I love them. Yeah, I, I do love ladder matches. They're a lot of fun, and you can do a lot of crazy spots. And every time that I'm in one, I feel like I need to do, you know, do some sort of crazy thing and make a memorable moment out of it. Any any spot that you have pitched that you haven't gotten to yet, or any idea? I, I don't want you to spoil anything, but something that you might have in in the back of your mind that you might want to pull off in a ladder match in the future, because they got them every year with Money in the Bank. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they definitely do. Um, no, like so far, the ideas that I've pitched worked out to where we were able to find the right spot in the match to where we were able to do it. So, um, no, but I always try and think of a new crazy spot for each and new ladder match. This last one wasn't even my idea. That one was uh, Zelina's idea with uh, the code red in- off the ladder into the ladder. So got to give her props for that one. Oh, very nice. Um, uh, you were also involved in a, a new type of match last year, the the Iron Survivor Challenge. Yep. They're bringing that back Deadline. this year. Yeah, they're bringing that back yeah. this year with Deadline. Any advice to the to the competitors that are in this match? And how did you feel about the match being as the first time it was ever done? Uh, that match is a lot of fun, especially like I, I like being in the ring the entire time. And I was one of the first ones out there. So being able to stay through all of the women were actually it, it, it's a blast uh if you're in there for the first time and you got to work on your cardio because that will it will test you to your limits um it's a crazy match and there's a lot going on and you have to try and keep your eye on the ball and get as many pins as you possibly can uh eo shirai is the the champion on the other brand over there you've mm-hmm. you've got a you know, eo sky you have a long history <laughs> yeah yes. yeah you, you you have a long history with her. Uh, if she came to you, I know you're already working Survivor Series, but she came to you and was like, "Hey, da- damage control, won't you come over here?" What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I like what I'm doing right now on Raw. I would have to respectfully turn her down. And let's face it, back in NXT, she didn't really like me very much. So what would change now? You know, true. Well, she seems yeah. like a different person. Uh, did you ever? Did Does you ever? Go? Did you ever? Try the sushi and like the sushi. Did you ever come around on the sushi? Okay, I, I do love sushi. <laughs> Are you like, yeah, that little script. And I don't like octopus, but in general, I am an actual fan of sushi. My husband and I, we get sushi like once a week. So I am a big fan of it. I know some of your food takes. I know you're a pineapple on pizza person. I am, yes. yes, yes. I, I, I do some research. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. I know you're a pineapple on pizza person. Any other, I don't... I don't think pineapple on pizza is that odd, but any other food takes that other people might find odd. Um, have you ever had a burger with a uh, over easy egg on it? Yes. Oh, that's a, the breakfast burger. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah, you, that you throw, really good. You do egg on there, uh, even throw some bacon on there. Um, yeah. We did uh, breakfast tacos yesterday, pancakes that are like tacos, Ooh. and then breakfast food, eggs, bacon, yeah. some some hash brown. That on sounds there. delicious. Oh yeah, that sounds yeah. really good. Get a nice breakfast place up here. If you're ever in Ohio, I'll, I'll tell you where to go. Oh yeah, to, for sure. To stop there. Um, yeah. I, 
as we start to, to wrap up here, Zoe, again, WWE Survivor Series this Saturday in Chicago, All State Arena. You're taking on Rhea Ripley. What can fans expect from this match? You know, Rhea Ripley's been a dominant champion. What can fans expect mm-hmm. from this? Uh, a very hard hitting match. Um, we both hit hard and we're both very brutal when it comes to uh, our in ring skills. So expect a very hard hitting match. Any well, last one here? Any Thanksgiving plans? What, what's what's going on in the Stark household for Thanksgiving? Uh, yeah, so we're heading to uh, Salt Lake City to be with family for uh, a couple of days, and then let's see, land in Salt Lake around Tuesday, and then th- Wednesday, Thursday, and I fly out Friday. So quick little trip, but get to spend the holiday with uh, my parents. What, what's on the menu? Are you? Some people are against turkey mm. on Thanksgiving. They they go heavy on the sides. So what, what's on the menu? Yeah. Some turkey, mashed potatoes. I'm a big uh, the sweet sweet potato dish. Um, those are my three go tos. I really don't do the vegetables during uh, Thanksgiving. Probably some cranberries. Okay. You no, know, lots of pie for sure. <laughs> What's the favorite pie? Oh man, if there's anything with lemon on it, I'm a huge lemon fan, so I'll go yeah. after that. Or uh, you got to go for the classic pumpkin pie. I was say, are you a pumpkin spice? That's always this time this time of year. Are you everything yeah. pumpkin spice? Not everything, but I like a little bit of it. You know. <laughs> Zoe, thank you so much for joining us. Let everybody know where they can find you at on social media or anywhere else. Uh, Instagram and Twitter at Zoe Stark WWE. There you go. Zoe Stark, WWE on X, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want to call it. Guys, oh, get yeah, w- yeah. <laughs> Forgot all about that. As again, so WWE. Much I actually go on social media. Sorry. <laughs> it's, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it, it is what it is, the social media. Yep. Yep. As again, WWE Survivor Series this Saturday, November 25th, live on Peacock. Everyone can check that out. They can watch Zoe Stark take on Rhea Ripley for the WWE Women's World Championship. Zoe, thank you again for joining us here on Fightful. And guys, we will talk to y'all later on. You've heard me talk about a lot of things at NordVPN.com slash Fightful has, and I'm about to tell you almost everything it has. Listen to your favorites abroad. If you're traveling and you want to watch, listen to your favorite shows, they got you covered. Fastest VPN in the world. You can shield your data from snoops and criminals. So that way your IP address is changed. You can safely listen to podcasts, stream shows, simply browse, and complete privacy. You can protect yourself on that public Wi-Fi no matter where it is. You can secure every device you own on every operating system you own. They also have the ability to get a NordPass password manager. Maybe it's a little more difficult for you to, to remember those passwords. They got you covered. They also got the file encryption tool. That way there's an extra layer of security between you and your content. Threat protection. You're safe from disruptions with their kill switch. 24-7 tech support. Fastest VPN on the planet. Reliable encryption. A 30-day money-back guarantee. You will end up saving money when you subscribe to NordVPN.com slash Fightful.